In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to make one of the tastiest, most efficient meals for body transformation goals, whether that's weight loss, muscle building, toning, body recomposition, you name it, ceviche. And not only is this meal you know, extremely versatile in that it's really tasty, it's very filling, it's super delicious, uh, it, there's, there's you know, no meal prepping involved, but at the same time, it is one of the most health conscious meals that you can have. So without further ado, let's just get straight to the video. Okay, so here we have all the ingredients that you're going to need for the recipe. The main ingredient is gonna be tail off shrimp. You can also use halibut, cod or tilapia one onion but we're only going to use half of it one medium-sized tomato three limes two lemons one jalapeno cilantro seasonings black pepper and salt in this case i'm going to be using garlic salt and if you're doing a low carb meal or if you're doing keto then we're going to use avocado but that's not going to go till the very end all of the fresh ingredients cost me a total of seven dollars and fifty cents and you know we're using a pound of of, of shrimp so uh, if you do the math that's you know that's about two to four servings depending on your weight depending on on your goal and what you're trying to do so that you know comes out to about you know a dollar 75 to two dollars and 50 cents per meal so the very first thing that we're going to do now is i'm going to boil some water because uh before we cook the shrimp in the the lemon juice and the lime juice we want to make sure that we cook it a little bit so let's get to that and then we'll chop the vegetables all right, so here we have the shrimp in boiling hot water and make sure that you wash the shrimp first of course use a strainer and then wash it uh, you know with with running water and then put it in here we're only going to leave it for about 90 seconds to to uh, two minutes just so that it can cook a little bit more so it's not completely raw when we uh, submerge it in the in the lime and lemon juice once it's been here for once it's here for about you know like i said 90 seconds and we're just going to transfer it over to some cold water and then we're just gonna let it chill there for for about three minutes so that it gets uh so that it can be uh so that it's cold again and then we'll chop it into little pieces okay so while you have the shrimp chilling you want to go ahead and cut your vegetables so right here is the uh, one tomato we have half an onion cilantro jalapeno we have the uh you know the three limes the two lemons and one quick hack is you can always just get the, the bottled lemon juice, which is, I mean, it's natural. It's just, you know, squeeze lemons and then same thing for the lime. That'll save you a little bit of time, of course, if you do, you know, if you're trying to save as much time as possible. And for one pound of meat, you want to use about, you know, half a cup of each one, maybe a little bit more. You can always calibrate if you need more, but you know, that's, that's just a little hack if you want to use. And if you want to add more vegetables or if you want to include something like uh, i've heard that cucumber is really good this is a peruvian version but if you want to add you know like cucumber you want to add green chili uh you want to add you know zucchini just more volume or you want to use red onion instead of white onion you can always do that you can kind of you know customize this in a way that is more satisfying to you but i would suggest that you do keep these base ingredients because this is what's gonna you know that's what gives it that special peruvian taste all right and for the final part all that we're going to do is we're just going to cut the shrimp as you can tell it's already been cooked it's pink we're just going to cut it in half and that's it we're just going to do that with every single one this is probably the most time consuming part of it but at the most it shouldn't take you more than you know a minute or two all right and now we're just going to put everything together and before i do that real quick i'm going to season the shrimp just put a little bit of uh, black pepper and you can always do the step at the end uh, as well if you feel like you need some more seasoning and then we're just going to put a little bit of salt just a pinch of salt so it has a little bit more flavor not that it's going to need any so <clears throat> once we put the salt in here like i said we're just going to throw everything into you're just going to throw everything into a bowl and you're just going to mix everything it really is the it really is the easiest thing to do so you're just going to put everything here and then you're going to add your vegetables so you're gonna add your all the chopped vegetables in here okay and then <clears throat> once you have that just mix it up a little bit and then you're gonna add the lemon and the lime juice And then just stir it up for a little bit more. And then after this step, you wanna make sure that the shrimp is fully 
emerged in the in the both the lemon and lime juice and like i said if you need a little bit more you can always rely on the lemon and lime juice that's bottled and then once you do that you're just going to cover it you're going to cover this and then you're going to put it in the fridge for about an hour you could do it for a little bit longer if you need to and then after that it's going to be ready to go if you're not doing keto or low carb here's a quick hack for you use corn tortillas in a flat skillet and then leave them there for about 10 to 15 minutes until they get crunchy on both sides uh, the way that Peruvian ceviche is usually served, it's, in a, it's, it's served in what's called a tostada. And a tostada is usually pretty high calorie because it's a, it's a tortilla, you know, fried in oil, which adds a bunch of calories. Each one is about 140. But if you use corn tortillas and you just put them in a, in a flat skillet, you know, and just let, it, you know, let them sit there until they get crunchy, one tortilla is only going to be about 40 calories. So you can enjoy it better without adding the extra calories. And I'll show you how it's going to look here in just a second. Additionally, you, you know, if you're doing keto or low carb and you want to have that same effect, you can always use a rice cake uh, as like your tostadas uh, substitute. Or you can use a carb chopper or you can just have it, you know, in a plate and use cauliflower rice and, you know, have it with like a vegetable stir fry. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I just took out the ceviche from the fridge. I did remove the uh, lemon and lime juice that was there because there was, of course, you know, some that was that was extra because, you know, if you want to make sure you do this right, you do want to make sure that it's that it covers it so the acidity can cook, you know, further cook the shrimp. Uh, you know, in looking at this, I am noticing that, you know, I could probably use a little bit more vegetables. But, you know, then again, you know, the purpose of this meal is to to be high protein so it can be failing and satiating. But nevertheless, like I said, this, you know, uh, you know, this is going to give you two to four servings. So, yeah, let's just prepare it and then uh, serve it in a plate. All right, so we have the final product here. And this is only about like one fourth of the whole thing that I'm using. I still have a bunch of the of the ceviche left right here. And I went ahead and put them in a modified tostada, uh, which is the one that I showed you how to do earlier. And even this, you know, meal itself, even if you're doing low carb, this is still pretty low carb because it's only going to be each tortilla is only about 10, 11 grams of carbs. So even this is still pretty low carb. Um, so, yeah, now the final thing, um, this is what's going to take this to the next level, but it's not for everybody. It's this little secret ingredient right here, which is called Valentina. So you want to just put a little bit, whatever that means for for you, and then after that just enjoy if there was anything that i didn't cover in the video make sure that you ask me in the comments i'd be more than happy to answer it for you and i'll see you on the next one okay